Did you ever wonder what it was like to just be free? To adventure and explore without the white picket fence and eight to five? To throw away the golden handcuffs? Well, we did. So we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter sailboat that was neglected for decades. Sailed her up north, rounding Point Conception, making way to our new home port on the central coast of California. (laughs) We've been fixing her up and prepping her for blue water cruising ever since. With new episodes weekly, follow along our journey. Leave us a comment. And if you like, press subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in and see you next week. Next up on the project list is removing this AC unit that the boat came with because the amount of space it takes up is far more valuable than the probably, I don't know, half a dozen times that we might use the AC unit. (laughs) And it's this big, so I gotta find a way to remove all this. And something took there. a big shit and like got the AC unit removed. That's our quarter berth. Now we have more room for activities. <laughs> Removing the old 110 volt AC unit. Takes up so much space, that thing. Yes! Finally using a 90 by myself. Pretty proud. This is what I'm removing. Alright, this thing is out. So now we can see. We contemplated keeping the AC units. It wasn't an easy decision, but we decided we wanted the space and probably wouldn't be using the AC units that much because they need shore power. Also another consideration, we would rather spend the money and get a small 12 volt unit for the V berth to help with sleeping, or if it is just unbearable, than having two air conditioning units throughout the boat. The truth is we don't know because we've never cruised and we've never lived somewhere unbelievably hot. So this decision, it was a gamble, but we hope we made the right call. That box that was in there before is now removed. And it helped to take this vent off. 
So now there's more closet space for Grant, which is we definitely need that in order to set sail. Out, yeah. This wire, which okay. can you try to figure out, is it just, I might just cut it. It was a bit frustrating to spend some part of the weekend removing the AC units, something that isn't really going to help us get cruising directly. At that moment, Grant and I weren't thinking, here we are spending all day in the V-Birth because we are following our dreams. In that moment, I'm thinking, my back hurts from being hunched over in the V-Birth for hours when I would really just like to Netflix and chill. But it helps making these videos because it's a reminder that even things like making more space in the boat is all a part of following our dreams. Dreams of margaritas on the foredeck with the right point break in the vista. One thing at a time. Okay, all right. Try to empty this hose out of the old seawater. This is the this was the raw water for the cooling system. What do they call that? I can't remember what it's called. But for the forward air conditioning. Start blowing. Ew, dude. Ew. Tasty? <laughs> I didn't suck me up. These things were in the boat. Just for reference, they're huge. How's the work day going for you, Ember? Kinda like me? We are in our land home right now. Boats in the water in Morro Bay. It's pretty stormy, so we've been yeah. not going to the boat a lot, but uh, still need projects done. So we'll try to do things that are on the inside. Yes, and today's task, and yesterday's task actually, was is the plumbing in the head. Yeah, toilet, I'll exactly. have, we'll have to order so, some parts, but we need to figure out sizing and what the proper parts are. Yeah, and I think this is the first time we've um, explained a project from like the brainstorming part of it, which is what Grant's going to explain in a second here, via drawing. And then we will go and execute that drawing. <laughs> okay. You want to draw what we got going on in the head right now? Um, sure. So I'm going to put it in the order that like our system is just so that um, it's easy for me to remember. So what we currently have on our boat is the inch and quarter seacock, the three quarter inch seacock. Starting from there, water goes into our toilet, use the toilet, it leaves the toilet, goes up through the anti-siphon, and hits this valve. This valve decides either straight overboard through that inch and a quarter seacock or diverts it into the top of the tank. If currently when it's in the tank, the only way to get out of the tank is just through the deck pump out. What we'd like to add is a macerator pump, which would connect the deck or excuse me, the tank to the original anti-siphon loop so that we can push the sewage from our tank into the anti-siphon, this would be set to overboard and discharge. So that's what we got going on today and we shall go execute now. Join us next week as we plumb our head. As always, thanks for watching and leave us a comment or any tips. 
See you next week. It's probably just a double. Yep, Am I tightening or? I don't know. I think you're listening. No, I'm definitely. Nope, you're listening. You gonna be here for me to explain it to you? I am. Oh, goody. Should I look at the camera like this? <laughs>